To that update, Aisha, in one of the largest scandals in U.S. education history, right now seven former Atlanta public school uh, employees are still fighting to clear their names after being convicted of cheating on state administered tests. Reveal investigator Faith Abube sat down with one of those teachers who's working to prove her innocence and the investigators who claim she's guilty. This is his handprint. The birth of Shawnee Robinson's child will forever be linked to one of the most trying times in her life. <laughs> and it wasn't because of the baby. Amari was born 10 days after Robinson and 10 other Atlanta public school educators were convicted for cheating on state standardized tests called the CRCTs. Georgia used the scores to determine how well students were doing in math and reading and other subjects. When the 2009 CRCT results came back, struggling students miraculously had exceptional scores. You can't make that kind of progress under those circumstances, but yet the test results said that it was being made. It wasn't. It was a lie. Former prosecutor Bob Wilson was one of the investigators then Governor Sonny Perdue appointed to look into what some suspected was widespread cheating, not by the kids, but by the educators themselves. It started at the top. Dr. Beverly Hall was the superintendent of the schools. Dr. Hall put immense pressure on her leadership team, especially in the academic side, and the principals to achieve certain scores. Some of Dr. Hall's own staff said as much during the trial. My evaluation was tied to student achievement. It was a hard decision to make, but I just did it and I know it was a wrong decision. Wilson's team and prosecutors implicated 178 APS educators in the cheating scandal. Many of those educators confessed and took plea deals. I raced and we won. But not Robinson, pregnant and all. I will never admit to something I didn't do. You didn't change the test score? No. You didn't change the answers? No. I was angry that I had been falsely accused. Robinson has never doubted teachers cheated especially those in economically disadvantaged areas. But she believes the district and state leaders use the teachers as scapegoats to avoid addressing larger problems in public education. I'm sorry, children were hurt. Face the truth. Stop making excuses for yourself. So Faith, I'm really curious, what's up with the teacher now? She's been focused on clearing her name. She's mm -hmm. also a stay-at-home mom. She just released this book. It's her side of the story. She says she wants her son to know that. As for the other teachers, we have their stories in the story on 11alive.com. And you know what's really interesting? Researchers at Georgia State say that some of these young people lost up to six months of learning. So what's going on with them? And there was a lot of outrage over that. Local mm -hmm. leaders made a lot of promises to make these kids whole. Well, mm -hmm. 10 years later, our investigation has found that a lot of the promises never materialized, and that's part two of our story, a missed target failed redemption. That's tomorrow right here on Up Late. And we really look forward to that. Thanks a lot, Faith.